So one project that we're presenting here at AAIC is, um, is using our stem cell models that are taken from um, individuals who carry rare mutations that cause autosomal dominant forms of frontotemporal dementia. So these individuals carry uh, rare mutations in the MAPT gene. Um, and they're known to produce this very characteristic phenotype of behavioral variant uh, frontotemporal dementia. Um, as well as some sort of prodromal AD phenotypes. Um, and so we've been asking, what is going on downstream of these mutations? We know mutations in the gene cause the disease, but we still don't understand how to target and treat the disease. And so what we've used is, um, is induced pluripotent stem cells from these individuals um, that carry MAPT mutations. And we've gone in and we've used CRISPR-Cas9 to correct the mutant allele back to wild type. We then take those pairs and we look at changes in gene expression profiles that distinguish the two mutation carriers from the, the controls. And we can then couple that with data we have from human brains that carry these same MAPT mutations. And we've been able to kind of narrow in on a set of pathways and genes that are dysregulated both in our stem cell model as well as in the autopsy brain tissue. So that really tells us that these genes are influencing disease pathogenesis and we can now demonstrate that we have this cell model that we can begin to interrogate and, and test those specific pathways. And so some of those pathways include um, those related to presynaptic signaling as well as uh, receptors for different GABA subunits. And we've shown that we, there are already drugs that we could potentially begin to test that will target those pathways in our cells. So now that we've narrowed in on a few particular genes and targets, um, we've identified through, um, through bioinformatic work potential FDA-approved compounds that could uh, target those genes. And so what we'll do is in the cell models, we'll target those genes and we'll ask whether we see a restoration of the, the tau-specific phenotypes um, that we've observed in these, in these culture models. So some of these compounds are, are, and some of these drugs are ones that potentially have been used in the context of, of psych psychiatric symptoms that some FTD patients exhibit, but we've never really looked at how this may impact tau pathology specifically. And so we can do that in our cell models, and we can potentially also look in, in mouse models of disease.